Hello everyone and welcome. Our topic for the day is redundancy. This topic may sound something new to you all. Is it not? Yes, of course. We use redundant words unconsciously in our everyday conversations. Let us begin this topic by defining the term redundancy. Redundancy is the needless repetition of words, phrases, sentences, paragraphs or ideas. In English usage, redundancy is usually defined as the use of two or more words that say the same thing. Whether you are giving a speech or writing an email, it should be avoided to make your communication more effective and efficient. Now let's have a look at few redundant sentences that are used in our daily life conversations. All I want is the end result that matters. The word end and result. These two give the same meaning. So either one could be used in the sentence. The words that are displayed in red are redundant words which means that those words are unnecessary in the sentence. Removal of those words doesn't affect the original meaning of the sentence. The second sentence see and notice both convey same meaning so either one could be used in the sentence. Next exact same these two words give the same meaning so either one could be used. Revert back the word revert itself means something we get back. So, needn't use the word back in that sentence. Next, again once more. So, these two words convey the same meaning as one could be avoided. In the next sentence, today's modern technology. So, it should be written either as today's technology or modern technology. So, the word today and modern gives same meaning. Next, invent new. The word invent itself means something new. So, the word new could be avoided. Next sentence, that board is triangle in shape. So, the word triangle itself resembles shape. So, using the word shape in the sentence could be avoided. Next, he was protesting against corruption and nobody could predict the future. Protest itself means something against. So, the word against is unnecessarily used in the sentence. Predict the future. The word predict means something we talk about future. So, the word future is unnecessary in the sentence. Next sentence, evening sunset. Both gives same meaning. So, either one could be used. Small children. The word children indicates small so again using the word small in the sentence is unnecessary next happily without any worries the word happy itself stands for without any worries so the phrase without any worries could be avoided next the morning sunrise was very early today morning sunrise both reflects same meaning so either one could be used in the sentence the next sentence, I could not go to the supermarket today since because I lost my car key. So reason, the reason that we give either since or because either one could be used in the sentence. Next, redundant acronym syndrome. Let us have few examples for this. Number one, I will go to the nearest ATM machine to draw money. Acronym ATM is automated teller machine. So, the acronym itself has the word machine in it. So, needn't use the word machine again in the sentence. Next sentence, pin number. Pin, it's N, the letter N itself indicates number. So, again using the number, the word number could be avoided. The next sentence, acronym RTO. The uh, letter O in the acronym indicates office. So 
it is better to avoid the word office in the sentence the next acronym is bi sbi bank so sbi itself has the word bank in it so the using the word bank again in the sentence is unnecessary next dvd disc so the d in the acronym indicates disc so again using the word disc is unnecessary the next is how to avoid redundant statements in a conversation number 1 while delivering a persuasive presentation or narrating a short story or an anecdote number 2 while giving compliments and constructive feedback number 3 while communicating assertively number 4 while trying to say no politely number 5 while handling interpersonal conflicts number 6 while introducing yourself so these are the various areas where we tend to use this redundant statements next few examples of sentence correction number 1 please come by the sentence please come by the three departments into one the correct sentence would be please come by the three departments the phrase into one is redundant because on combining three departments we will automatically get one next sentence would you please repeat again what you said so the correct sentence would be would you please repeat what you said needn't use the word again in the sentence next the new innovations were startling something the word innovation itself indicates something new so the correct sentence would be the innovations are startling next we shall have a look at few commonly used redundant words number 1 added bonus the words which are displayed in red indicates words that are unnecessarily used in this sentence added bonus next adequate in f both give same meaning close proximity collaborate together early beginnings end result future plans outward appearances so appearance itself is something that talks about outward external features so the word using the word outward is unnecessary past experience past history sum total repay back so all these words that are encircled in red are words to be avoided in the sentence return back free gift gift is something that is given free so needn't use the word free again in the statement foreign import current trend repeat again describe about this is a very commonly committed mistake describe about discuss about but it is not to be used different kinds new beginning plan ahead protest against i am sure you all would have got some clarity on the important concepts of redundancy and how to avoid them to excel in oral communication best wishes to you all